Hello everybody, this is Miss Squire's Technology Tips and Tricks. Uh, this first video that we're doing is about file management, which should help you get ready for the start of the school semester or school year um, if you're brand new or returning to the school. Now, what you want to do is when you get your computer, you want to go and open up the File Explorer program. To do that, you're just going to go to the Start menu here. And on the right side, you should see File Explorer show up. You're going to click on that, and it'll bring up this File Explorer box. Now, this will show you the Quick Access page, just basically any folders that you go to frequently or any recent files that you may have been using in the past. It's a great place to go for if you're looking for a file that you just downloaded and you aren't quite sure where you saved it, it'll show up in the recent files usually. But to organize our file folders so that we can find things faster and be able to return to them, you know, maybe a month later when you realized you submitted the wrong file to an assignment, you want to make sure you structure your file folders correctly at the beginning of class. So we're going to focus on doing that today. Now you are going to have a pretty blank slate if you're brand new. Um, some of you, if you're you're coming back to class, you're going to have a lot of files and folders on your computer. Most often they're going to be in the downloads folder. That's where everything defaults to. But we're going to start putting things in our documents folder. So we're going to click on the documents folder here. And mine shows a lot of folders, and these have the orange manila envelope um, or file folder icon here. That means that this is just a box holding files inside of it. Now, I already structured mine by year, by school year, but what you want to do is you want to click this new folder button up here, and it'll automatically open a new folder at the bottom, and you can type to change the name. You want to change this to be the current school year. There was a little bit of a technical glitch there, but you'll want it to be the current school year. So you're going to take out this new folder and type in 22-23 or whatever school year it is for you. You may be watching this in the future, so change it to whatever the school year is. Um, I'm going to put it as 24-25 uh, because I haven't done that yet and I'll hit enter and it'll change the name of my folder. Usually it'll automatically alphabetize it. If it doesn't, you can always click this name button to alphabetize things for you. Just click it a couple times, it'll put it in alphabetical order. Now inside this folder, I want to create a folder, another folder, it's folderception here guys, another folder for fall semester. And I want to do another folder for spring semester. Because some of your electives classes are only a semester long. Now you can put um, in here your English classes or math classes that go the entire year. You could just put those at the top. Do math or English. Whatever class that you are in that you want to do. Make it a little bit cleaner so you know what's going on. You could even just do the name of your electives class instead of the fall and spring. I just organize it via fall and spring so I know what, um, what semester it was. Now after you do this, usually what I like to do is I like to go into the class and then for how many units there are in the content page of the course, I like to create a folder for each one. So let's say English had four units, so I would do unit one, new folder, unit two, new folder, unit three, new folder, unit four. So now I've got four folders for all of my units in English. This will help me stay organized as I go along in the course so that I know which unit I'm working on and what assignment goes where. So once you have all these folders up, now we need to set your browser settings to save your files properly. So we're going to open up a browser here. 
I just happen to have a new one open on that side. So if you're using Google Chrome, you can go to the three dots on the right, and then you are going to go to Settings. From here, you're going to go to where it says Downloads on the left side, and you're going to ask it where to save each file before downloading. It should look like this, where the toggle isn't blue. You want to click on that toggle so it will turn on. Now, every time you go to download a file, it's going to ask you where to save that file. I'll show you how that looks here in just one second. So, let's say that I want to find a picture of purple flowers, and I wanted to download that. And I'm just going to pick the very first one here. I'm going to right-click on it. Do save image as and then this will pop up every single time you try to download a file whether you click on a link to download it save an image doesn't matter it's gonna always pop up and this is where those folders come in handy you want to go to your documents page on the left go into that file folder you created for the year into the class that you wanted to save it for and into whatever unit you want to save it for. Also, when you're saving files like this, um, doing a generic name does not help you. You want to make it as specific as possible. So like this one, I want to change the file name to be purple flowers. Sometimes your, your assignment will require you to put your first name or your last name first. So you could put, you know, your last name, underscore purple flowers so that you know which one it is and your teacher will know which one it is then you'll hit save it'll save in that folder and you can verify that it's already down at the bottom here but you can also go into that folder in the file explorer and find it right there now then you could open it up on your computer and this is the same for any word document as well uh, the pictures load slow for mine. Uh, I've got a Word document here as well. Like I have this assignment that students can do. If I click on the link, it's telling me, hey, we want to save this file, but it also just has a number. Now I want to put the, it's the assignment instructions. So I want to put one underscore zero five assignment instructions. That way I know what it is when I'm going looking for it. I hit save, automatically downloads, and I can open it up later. Hopefully that helps you guys. Um, you can change the settings in Firefox as well and in Edge. Whichever one you're using, it's usually in the same place. Go to settings, then downloads, and it'll have a little toggle asking you where you want each file to be saved. Uh, be sure to do this before the start of the school year so you are able to send those files where you want them. It takes a little bit of time to get used to but overall it will help in the long run. Hope this helps you guys and let me know what you think.